All right guys, so today I'm going to do a really cool effect using layer masks. Um, I'm going to be doing a series of different things you can do with layer masks, and here is another one. Right now, if you take a look at the model here, I have Alicia. We're going to take her photo and drag it on top of this uh, photo on the right here of all the mixed letters. Um, but before you do that, you want to check and see the sizes to make sure they're at least somewhat the same because if one's bigger than the other, especially if you're dragging, say, the one on the left over onto the right, and it's ten times bigger, then it's going to be really hard to have to resize it manually. So if you just go into image, image, image size, and you can see the sizes here, and that's about fine for that, but we're going to check this one and see and if we're close. Yeah, it's about the same. Um, so that's okay. So what we're going to do is you um, get the move tool, which is right here, and you're going to click and hold and hold shift too and drag it over. Make sure it's still holding shift before you let go. Let go. And what holding shift does, it actually puts it into the center um, because if you just drag it over, it puts it where your mouse lands. So holding shift actually helps you center it. So as you can see, we can get rid of this now. Um, we don't need this. So I'll just drag this over. So we have this right here and what you're going to do is you go down to the bottom right corner of your layers palette and it should say add layer mask. You want to click on that and what that does is it adds this layer mask box right beside the picture and it has this link here which means that again in this case it's white so anything I paint with black will show what's underneath this layer which is the mixed letters so I'm going to take my brush by either clicking on the palette or again pressing B now some of you may wonder how I can make my brush size bigger without having to go up to brush and brush size there are actually, you can press the um, side bracket keys, not the, not the zero and the nine, but the side ones, and you click up and down the size you want. So that's about right. And I'm going to lower my opacity. It's actually already lowered. It doesn't matter how dark or light you want it. That's up to you. Um, let me just start going through. Again, remember, I'm on the black brush. And I'm going through and I'm painting what I would like to show through at the bottom. Now keep in mind you can't, there are some places you can't paint over, but like this. But I mean, say you make a mistake, you want to go back, you switch the colors back to white, which again, click the arrow or you can hit X back and forth. So we want to bring a little bit of her nose back just to... So you know it is a nose and there is a person there. And again, this is all however you want to do it, but I'm just showing you this technique and there's so many different pit images you can use underneath. I know this looks very weird and I don't know why anyone would want to do it, but I'm just showing you the technique that you can use to do that. And we'll go in here. Again, I'm using the shortcut to make my brush smaller and of course you go in and crop the actual image to where it goes and crop that now here's the cool thing I'm getting rid of my ruler sorry that's what that was for so now you can see a little bit better um, the cool thing about this is that you can actually open another image and you, if you drag this first layer on top, it should actually show through the same kind of thing. So let's go to open, and we'll, I guess we'll grab, well, let's grab a random one here. Let's see what I have. Um, okay, this works, sure. <laughs> this is a picture I took in Alaska. We'll just use this as an example. Um, We'll have to change the size probably too, but um, let's see if it works without having to change the size. 
So if you take the first layer and you actually drag it over, holding shift again, there you go, you can see that uh, it actually shows through where you want it. Like so. Um, yeah, so we'll do it that way. And just like that, you can see the effect that it does. Don't save. Now, if we go back to this one again, like I said, um, if there are certain areas that you want to show and areas that you don't want to show, you just switch the colors back and forth. So, that's my quick tutorial, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope that you subscribe and rate and comment, and I appreciate all the lovely comments I've been getting from you guys already, and tell all your friends because I'm going to be coming out with a website that will actually um, be up soon, hopefully, and I can be um, retouching your photos if you'd like me to, um, but again, that's coming in the near future, so thanks for checking out my video, and I'll see you when I see you. Bye!